Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to tackle about circles. Now let's go back to the concept of conic section. So when we say conic sections, if you recall, we can form figures by passing a plane through a cone. Now how can we form a circle? So let's draw again our cone here. Now if we pass a plane which is parallel to the base here, this is our base. So let's say we pass a plane parallel to the base, we can form a circle here. So we pass a plane through a cone which is parallel to the base. Then we can form a circle there. So parallel to the base. So the plane that passes is parallel to the base of the cone or perpendicular to the axis of the cone. Now let's go back to the general equation of a conic section. So our general equation for a conic section is given by you have ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f. For a to e, our coefficient of the variables, then f is a constant. Now, your question might be, what is b here? So, our b here, coefficient of the x and y variable. So, this b corresponds to the orientation of our conic section. So, most of the conic sections actually don't have a value of b. So, b is 0 for most conic section. So, kung 0 yung b natin, ibig sabihin, Yung conic section natin coincides with the coordinate axis. It means that it's either horizontal or vertical. So, yung mga standard forms ng mga conic sections natin is wala talaga siyang B. So, what if may B yung equation natin? So, for example, meron tayong parabola. So, if B has a value in your equation, so meron kang BXY na term, it means that your parabola might look like this. So, me medyo oblique ang kanyang orientation. So, it's not vertical, neither horizontal. So, meron siyang parang slope kung saan siya naka-open. So, kung may value yung B. But, pag niyo yung problema niyo, guys, it's just addi additional information because most of the time, wala naman talaga tayong value ng B. So, meron tayong mga standard forms. Now, let's go back to the circle. So, paano ba natin masabi na circle yung conic section using our general equation for a conic sections? Now, if your A, here the coefficient of the second degree x, x squared, and the coefficient of second degree y squared is equal, but not equal to zero, of course, this is a circle. Now, what about the eccentricity? So, the eccentricity for a circle is 0 since it doesn't have a focus. So, meron lang siyang center. So, tatandaan nyo yung guys na ang eccentricity of a circle is 0. Now, let's go back to its derivation of its equation. So, we have a circle here with center h and k. The distance from the center to any point on the circle is what we call, of course, the radius. Now, if we form a right triangle here, say, so this is a right triangle, and this point will be x and y, so this distance here will be, so that is x, and this distance will be that is h. Now, the difference between x and h is this distance. So, this is x minus h. So, this length of the right triangle. Now, this height here is you have this y and you have this k. Now, the height of our right triangle here is y minus k. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, 
you can say that this length which is x minus h so squared plus you have this other leg y minus k squared is equal to the square of your hypotenuse r so this is the general equation of a circle so naderive siya guys using the pythagorean theorem so a circle is a locus of a point which moves so that it is equidistant from a fixed point called center and yung distance na yun, as I have mentioned, is what you call the radius. Now, ito na yung general equation ng circle. Now, let's solve a sample problem. So, in this problem, we have given the curve x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y minus 31 equals 0. What is the coordinate of its center and the length of its radius? So, we write lang natin yung general equation natin. You have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now, gagawin natin siyang ganito ang form niya. So, we have our given equation x squared so plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y minus 31 equals 0. So, let's group the like terms. So, x squared minus 2x so plus so y squared minus 4y then let's put out the constant so ilagay natin si other side so 31 then ito i complete square natin as well as ito so we can see here in our general equation so parehas silang dapat complete square you have your x squared minus 2x so para ma complete siya so plus you have y squared minus 4y, so that is plus 4 squared over 4. So, equals, so that is 31. So, ano yung ilad natin? I-add din natin siya sa other side. So, plus, so 2 squared, so 4 divided by 4, so 1. So, plus 4 squared divided by 4, that is 16 divided by 4. So, 4. We have here x squared minus 2x. So, plus 1. So, plus, you have y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals, so 31 plus 1, 32 plus 4, you have 36. Now, we have our form. So, gagawin lang natin siyang ganito ang form niya into general equation ng circle. You have here, x minus 1, so squared plus y, so square root of 4, that is 2. So, minus 2. Kasi, negative din yung sa kanyang first degree term. So, squared equals so you have 6 squared. So, it means that so, yung h natin is 1. Then, yung k natin is 2. Then, yung radius natin is 6. So, ang center, which is h k, that is 1, 2. Then, yung radius natin is 6. So, yung center natin is located at 1, 2. So, 1, 2. Then, our radius is, you have 6. Then, locus of a point. So, hindi siya nakascale, guys. So, imagine nyo na lang na complete siyang circle. So, ito yung radius natin. So, our equation will be, you have x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 6 squared or 36. Then, yung next solution guys is using formula. So, paano ba natin siya yung using our formula? Now, using our formula, pwede natin mahanap yung h and k. So, for h, so that is the x-coordinate of our center. So, dito lang tayo titingin sa mga x's. So, you have here the coefficient of first degree is negative 2. So, yung h natin is negative 2 all over. We have here, ang, ang i-divide natin is constant na negative 2. Kung ma-recall natin yung parabola, parehas din 
yung process natin. So, negative 2 times yung coefficient naman ng second degree x. So, that is 1. So, this is 1. So, yung ganun lang kadali using the formula or alternate solution. So, paano naman yung k? The y coordinate of our center. So, k. So, doon naman tayo titingin sa mga y's. Then, you have here negative 4 divided by so negative 2 ulit, that is a constant times the coefficient of y natin na second degree. So, 1. We have negative 4 divided by negative 2, that is, so, 2. So, simply, we can solve for h and k. You can say that the center, h, k is 1, 2. So, answer na yun. Then, paano naman yung radius niya? So, yun ang radius ay medyo complex yung formula. So, for the radius, guys, so we have this formula. So, the square root of d squared plus e squared minus 4 af all over you have 4 a squared. So, na-derive lang siya, guys, using completing the square. So, i-apply natin yung formula. So, r equals. So, yung d squared natin is the coefficient of the first degree x. So, negative so, squared plus you have your e squared. Yung e is the coefficient of the first degree y. So, that is negative 4 squared minus 4. So, yung a natin is the coefficient of the second degree x. That is 1. Then, yung f is the constant. That is negative 31. Then, all over, you have 4 times, yung a squared natin is itong coefficient ng second degree x, that is 1 squared, so this is the square root so i-compute na lang natin so r equals so you have here 6, so we arrive at the same answer, so it's up to you guys kung alin yung gagamitin yung procedure, so kasi guys sanay ako na uh, hindi formula yung minememorize ko. Yung process, kung papano, i-apply yung formula. For example, here, I will not memorize that this is d squared plus e squared minus 4af all over 4a squared. So, ang advice ko guys, ang gagawin nyo, for example, yung h natin, so kung ilalapat ko siya sa formula that is equal to, you have d, so that is d, all over, you have negative 2, a. So guys, hindi ko minememorize na D all over negative 2A. So ang tinatandaan ko lang, if H, dun lang ako magbabase sa mga X. Then yung coefficient ng first degree, negative 2, i-divide ko sa negative 2 times the coefficient ng first deg uh, second degree X. So hindi ko guys minememorize na H is equal to D all over negative 2A. So, much better if you memorize the process kung paano niya apply yung formula, not the formula itself. So, yun ang pinaka the best advice na pwede nyo gawin when using the formula. Kasi kung alam nyo kung paano niya apply yung formula, mas magiging successful kayo on solving problems. So, wag nyo lang siyang i-memorize as is. So, i kailangan nyo siyang i-apply para at the same time alam natin kung para saan ba yung mga formula. Then, when solving, Kailangan na dalawa yung method na alam natin. So, minimum of 2. So, it's either you solve manually and you use equation. So, kung meron pang ibang computations or calculator techniques or whatever, uh, you can use that. So, wag ka lang mag-stick sa isang process of solution. Dapat at least 2. So, minimum na yun. So, that's it guys. I hope that you'll learn from this video. In my next topics, I will be discussing about ellipse and hyperbola. And after that, proceed na tayo to calculus. So, matapos natin yung math, proceed tayo sa engineering sciences, we have economics, then hanggang power plant, then up to machine design. So, I hope na stay tuned lang kayo para at least makasabay kayo sa review natin. So, keep on sharing and supporting this channel. See you guys and God bless!